Cloud Platform is a powerful data analysis platform developed by Metware. Uh, at the present time, it can be accessed for free after a simple registration process. In the platform, uh, you will find over uh, 60 uh, small uh, uh, tools that are very common in all forms of omics uh, uh, data analysis. Uh, today, I will show you how to use uh, the advanced uh, clustering heatmap for data analysis. So, in this video, I will show you how to use the tool for the advanced clustering heatmap. So, first of all, we see a list of all the tools that we have available and we will just select the tool that we want. And here we see the interface of the tool, we see that our interface is split in two. We've got a right column and a left column. In the right column, we will see an introduction, so basically how to use the tool. Uh, there is a more detailed uh, descriptions of the options available. And then there is uh, the FAQ for some uh, troubleshooting. On the left, uh, we see uh, the parameters that are needed for us to start um, using the tool. So a task name, you can set uh, uh, you can set a name for your, your task and it's recommended that you um, be careful when setting a name especially if you are running uh, multiple works at the same time uh, the output file parameter is uh, simply um, the name of the output file so the work that will be generated um, by uh, our program and then we have the input file where you can just input your data and you can also select the example data. That is what I will do now. Um, so this, this input file should be in the TXT extension, and it's recommended that, that you use uh, encoding uh, uh, UTF-8. Uh, following this, we see a couple of uh, options for enabling uh, row and column uh, grouping. So in this case, we need to upload uh, additional data because we need um, uh, the, to add the row name uh, to the original. So this will be uploaded into different files. And if it's not needed, you can just disable them. Uh, I will just leave them on for, to show uh, as an example. And following this, we see that there is a, an option for standardization. So standardization is done uh, through uh, the Z-score uh, model. And uh, the data can be standardized, of course, generally by column. But if your data is ordered differently, you can also standardize by row. Or you can simply select none if uh, your data does not support uh, standardization. Um, I will leave it at column. And finally, there is the clustering option uh, where you can essentially, uh, well, you can disable clustering or you can just uh, uh, let the, the, the program uh, perform clustering either on only row, only column, or both. And uh, that's it. So when you are uh, done, you can set all your parameters and you can submit, or in this case, check with the examples. So here we can see the work that's been done. You can uh, download it or you can view it. And at this point, I will show how to use uh, um, a bunch of different uh, uh, image editing. You can just, uh, well, if you navigate on top of the map, you can see the values of all the parameters. And I will now demonstrate how to edit um, some things about the image. So here we can set a title. Uh, we can change the font. We can add display labels like like here are not really readable, so I will remove them. Here we can change the color palette and we can also set uh, custom colors.
And finally here, we can change various parameter of the heatmap legend, and we can also remove them if we don't want them. So this concludes the introduction on the online heatmap tool. And in the next issue, we will see how to use the tool for principal component analysis. You can follow Metro Bio on our social media, and I hope to see you there.